After two days without being able to play due to not being registered in La Liga, Dani Olmo was finally able to make his official debut in Vallecas with FC Barcelona, and he did it in an unbeatable way. He replaced Ferran Torres at halftime and revolutionized the game as soon as he entered, causing a clear foul by Lejeune inside the area that the VAR overlooked. Luckily for him and for Barcelona, football gave him revenge minutes later. Olmo took control of the Barcelona midfield, positioning himself alongside Pedri as an interior on the right or as a midfielder. In the 57th minute, he warned with a powerful long-range shot that hit the crossbar, with Barcelona focused on attack and Rayo struggling to maintain the lead. Olmo's presence made Rafinha return to the left side while Pedri appeared closer to the area. Barcelona turned it around in the 70th minute with a goal from Lewandowski, but the VAR noticed a stomp by Koundé on Chavarria, and the referee ended up annulling the goal. However, the Coulets continued to create danger on the right with the Lamina Olmo partnership, and in the 82nd minute, a good run by the winger ended in an assist for the former RB Leipzig player. Without wasting time, Danny controlled and positioned himself to take a low left foot shot, unstoppable for goalkeeper Cardenas. It was the icing on the cake of a dream debut for Olmo on his return to Barcelona a decade later. La Liga, as expected, awarded him as the most valuable player of a match that Barcelona ended up winning fairly, beyond suffering in stoppage time with a Rayo team that attacked a lot with crosses and set pieces in the final moments. In total, Danny completed 21 of 25 passes, with three shots and a couple of successful dribbles in the same number of attempts. In addition, he created two opportunities and recovered three balls, while in individual duels, he had an efficiency of 50%. In terms of discipline, he did not commit any ingratitude and received a foul in the 45 minutes he played. 